My name is Malak Khalil. I'm a qualified lawyer in Egypt, and I have recently passed the QLTS assessments on my first attempt. In terms of my legal career, after qualifying as an Egyptian lawyer, I practiced corporate law as an associate in international law firms in the Middle East. I wanted to take the QLTS assessment to qualify as an English solicitor because I moved to the UK a few years ago and because this qualification is also a qualification that's internationally recognized, so it would be useful to have anywhere I go. I decided to take a preparation course because I very quickly realized that the amount of material I needed to cover was very dense. So I was looking for a preparation course and I chose the QLTS school because they seem to offer a very comprehensive plan of studying. My experience with studying with the QLTS school was a very positive one. I felt that it prepared me very well before the exams. I was comfortable and confident before the examinations. I think the aspect that was most beneficial in the preparation course was the mock exams. For both the MCT and the OSCEs, I felt like the mock exams prepared me in terms of the material I needed to cover, but also in terms of the format of the exams. So the exams did seem very familiar to me uh, when I had to take them. In terms of time allocation, it's very difficult for me to give you an exact number, but overall I, give my, I gave myself plenty of time before both exams. I gave myself about five months before the MCT and before the OSCEs. Uh, I started at a pace that was quite relaxed, so I would do five to ten hours a week at the beginning of those five months, and gradually as the exam would come closer, uh, the pace would pick up. I would say that by the third month I'd be doing 30 hours per week, and of course the month before the exam I was studying full time, so about eight to ten hours a day. When I had to take the QLTS assessments, I felt quite well prepared. It's normal right before the exam to feel a bit nervous, but once I was inside, the questions seemed familiar and I was comfortable and confident. Regarding the preparation course, I wouldn't go to the extent of saying that it is impossible to pass these exams without a preparation course, but having a course really saves you a lot of time and a lot of energy because it focuses your efforts into learning the material that's really necessary for these exams. Anyone who's preparing for the QLTS assessments at the moment, I would recommend them to start preparing about three to four months before the exams. Uh, these exams are quite difficult, so you need to put in the hours and the effort. But at the same time, it's important to remain positive because these exams are feasible and people have passed them before. I would recommend the QLTS to any lawyer who by the nature of his work or the nature of his geographical location is exposed to English law. I think a modern day lawyer today is more than just knowing the law. It's someone who has a, a set of soft skills that he can use with his client at the court um, and generally speaking in his day to day work. Um, and I think that the QLTS does train you to acquire these skills. And from that perspective, it is a very useful exam to sit for.